Hi, it's Mike and uh, welcome to this Moodle tutorial on groups and groupings. Irrespective of the size of your organisation, it could be a huge university, it could be a small school with uh, a number of classes in it, um, we can control who sees what and who's doing what on our Moodle uh, websites by using groups and groupings. And it is irrespective of size. So just imagine university size, and I'm sure there's more uh, folk in a university, but size doesn't matter because we can control um, the all these people on Moodle using groups and groupings. So in this instance, there are seven areas of study uh, amongst all these people. I've got uh, a mixture of bits and pieces here. I've got uh, science stuff, I've got art stuff. So. Uh, in this scenario, what we're going to do is create seven Moodle groups, uh, one for each of the subjects to be taught. So how do we do this? So first of all, look in the top right-hand corner. Find the participants uh, feature on your virtual learning environment and go into the participants feature and find groups in the uh, drop-down menu. Uh, that should be on the right-hand side. So. Uh, let's uh, go left of the slide, we're in the groups area and there's three tabs, one called groups, one called groupings, I'll come on to that later, and then overview. So we're in the group uh, groups tab right now and underneath you'll see a, uh, effectively a blank area of groups and there's some buttons underneath it and click create group. The next thing you'll see in sort of the central part of this slide is general. Uh, create a group name, uh, say I've gone for chemistry, and then click save. And then do that for each of the groups that you want to create. Uh, bottom right hand corner of this, uh, of this slide you can see all the groups that have been created uh, corresponding to all the different subjects on the previous slide. The bracket zero uh, next to each of the groups indicates how many people are in that group and of course we haven't got to that bit yet so there's no we've just got empty groups okay so uh, when we look at the whole of the institution if you like we've got all the students we've got stem students and we've got art students so now what we can do is create three Moodle groupings and First things first is go to the second tab uh, on the groups page. And so that's the groupings tab. And there's a button uh, underneath the blank grouping area called create grouping. So click that. And then we get the effects of the general uh, section with grouping name. Type in uh, initially all students, click save changes, then back to groupings and create another grouping. Uh, this one called Arts, uh, do exactly the same botanology, create another one called STEM. And in the bottom right hand corner of this slide, what we can see is all the groupings that uh, I've created, and in fact I threw another one in as well, just for, for the fun of it, called Languages. So now, with the groupings, we can add the groups, or the relevant groups, to each grouping. So a grouping is a group of groups. Confusing? I'll just say that again. Groupings are uh, a group of groups. So uh, in the STEM grouping we need to add physics, maths and chemistry groups to the arts, Latin, English, history and media study groups and to all students we uh, put all the, all the different uh, subjects in there. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, if we go to that groupings tab, what we'll see is a list of groupings that we've created. And each one on the far right hand side has got a little icon, blue icon with that looks like a person. If you click there, then another page will open. And what we can uh, uh, see, what you need to do is uh, for all students is select all the groups and then click the add button over on the right hand side now 
what you'll see is the contents of the, all the students grouping and we can see all the seven groups are added so click back, uh, back to groupings and when you do that what we can see is uh, once they've all been completed because you're going to do the same process for each of the groupings you can see uh, in uh, in the bottom area of this slide you've got all students with those groups in that grouping you've got English history, Latin and media studies in the arts and then in the STEM area you've got just chemistry, math and uh, physics. Okay, so what we've done is created empty groups, they haven't got any people in them yet and some uh, of the groups have been placed in different groupings. So that's what we've done so far. Right, now we can add people. So uh, effectively we select a uh, the chemistry and click add remove users and on the left hand side at the bottom you'll see group members none and on the right hand side there's an area where we can select people so in this uh, sort of small demonstration because I've only got three J's there'll be lots of Joneses I'm sure uh, I've just uh, typed in J to the search and it's offered um, any of the students with uh, J in their name so in this instance to the chemistry what I want to do is uh, add Susan Jumper so I've um, highlighted her and then click add and she'll be in that group just like that and you need to uh, do this process for each and every one so uh, here's a little scenario for you it's the beginning of term there are two different welcome instructions for the art students and the STEM students well fortunately we've created a grouping of the art students and we've created a grouping of the STEM students. All right, so on our Moodle web page, the messages should be only seen by the students in the relevant grouping. How do we do that? Okay, so first, first of all, make sure that your Moodle page settings uh, is set like so. Go, so hit the cog or the uh, sort of editing feature at the top right hand corner and click edit settings. And this is the settings for the for this Moodle web page and uh, scroll on down find groups and against the group mode click separate groups uh, and you don't have to have a group uh, default grouping so that's fine then don't forget scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and hit save and return to the course now for each resource you're going to put on your web page you, you can add a restriction to it so this scenario uh, we had instructions for the art students and the STEM students. So click uh, Edit Settings for each of the resource and then scroll probably halfway down the page to find Restrict Access. Click the Add Restriction button uh, and that will open up a new feature uh, called Add Restriction. And Find Grouping, click that. Okay, uh, this little window will appear, it says uh, restrict access and there's two things you need to do. A is to cross out the I, okay, sort of, uh, it's either crossed out or not crossed out. So cross out the I and against the grouping select the grouping that you want um, the restriction on and then scroll all the way down, save and return. And what we've got at the bottom of the screen is uh, is what we'll see on our Moodle page. Okay, so each one is restricted, uh, and the first one is not available unless you belong to a group in the STEM grouping, and the second one is not available unless uh, the participant belongs to the group in the arts group. And uh, I'm going back to that I feature, so. Effectively, what that does, if a student is in the STEM department, then they're not at all going to see the art department um, sort of uh, link there. Okay. If, on the other hand, you're in the arts department, you'll see your arts department one, but you'll never see the STEM department. And that is what the uh, crossed out I does. If that I is not crossed out, then the students will see both, but only be able to access one of them. Okay, other examples of using groups and groupings. So effectively you can uh, communicate with the uh, group uh, 
that uh, you want to communicate with through either a forum or otherwise. Um, and other ideas, you can create a virtual staff room for staff only stuff. Uh, you can control access to uh, tests or exams depending on the group and you can also restrict it by uh, daytime group as well. Uh, uh, you can have online focus groups with uh, certain people and uh, restrict access ju just to them and no others. Uh, and you can create focus questionnaires as well. So uh, Moodle is really powerful in this. You could run a whole university. Uh, just uh, using Moodle groups and groupings, uh, really powerful. So I hope you enjoyed this. My name is Mike. I'm at a littlegreyhair.com uh, on the web and a little grey hair on Twitter. So if you enjoyed this, please like or subscribe to the site. And if you do so, then each time I upload another video, you'll be notified by YouTube. So anyway, thanks for listening and see you in the next one.